Good morning, modern steaders. Man, it's a beautiful morning out this morning. And Mr. Biggs and his gang are happy to see us. Hi, Randy. I don't know what's going on with our apple trees, but there's a few of them that are losing leaves like crazy. They're dropping apples already and there's just, I mean, look at all the leaves. This tree over here is fine, but it doesn't have many apples on it. When we go down to New York City, I'll show you another apple tree that's just losing all its leaves too and dropping a bunch of apples. I don't know what the issue is. Guys, look at this squash plant. I'm telling you, it's doubled in size since we've flown the drone over it just the other day. We'll have to take the drone out again. That thing's crazy. <laughs> I wonder where the pigs slept last night. Not in here. Chickens are like, hey, where are the pigs? We need them to open the feeder for us. I need to catch those four hens and put them back inside New York City. So this apple tree right here is losing a bunch of its leaves. And then this apple tree right here has lost a bunch of its leaves and dropping a lot of apples. Let's see, I'll show you all the apples it's dropped. Look at all them. I don't know if it has anything to do with all the heat we've gotten or all the water we've gotten at once or what the deal is. Let's see. Hey pigs. I hear you snorting. Oh. I can hear you sausage. Where's Lynx? What are you doing, Lynx? Did your girls sleep good last night? The chickens are waiting for you to go eat your grain so they can have some. Guess we got some more rain last night. A little bit of a puddle right there. You guys are still doing good. Glad to see it. Where are you hiding, Moose? One thing that never gets old to me is watching running pigs. I'm curious if Sausage and Lynx are gonna run up to their food as we walk up that way this morning. You coming? We're gonna go get some feed. Come on, Pluto. Sausage and Pluto are racing. You sharing with the chickens? They sharing with you? Don't look like it, huh? Want your cat want to come in? Yeah. Come on. Come 
Come on, let's go. You're crazy. So you said you wanted some toast, Olivia. It's time for our second breakfast for the day. Some days you just need that. So what are you saying? You want one of my half one of my eggs now? Yeah. Yeah. Not that one. We'll even let the animals enjoy some breakfast. Hey, Look. Look. Look All right, now that they're nice and clean, you can put them back in the cabinet. Yeah. And we'll eat off them tonight for dinner. I think the goats will like it if we let them out into the pasture area. Girls want to come out? Watch out, Buttercup. You're in the way. There you go. They're doing an awesome job at cleaning up all the undergrowth under these apple trees. You coming out and keeping an eye on everybody, Figaro? You like the security guard around here or what? What are you clucking about, huh? You're all dirty. I'm telling you guys, it feels like we're living in a rainforest. We're supposed to get more rain again this afternoon. <sighs> and look, you can already see the clouds over there. Look like it's gonna rain. Man! I got more than half the wood stacked there. I'm gonna put it in another pod there, the rest of it. Which is here. But look at this cool view we get to look at while we're putting away our firewood. What are you girls doing? Huh? Yeah. I'll take that view any day. Kind of neat, I can see the chickens have been over here scratching through all the dried up leaves looking for bugs and worms.
seems like it's always kind of an art form no matter which way you stack firewood I'm over here stacking firewood and I kept hearing a noise then I looked over we might have a broody hen over here she's on a big old pile of eggs I don't know if she's just Nope, she's not broody. But now I know where some of these chickens have been laying their eggs. Look at that pile. Then you got this guy who thinks he owns the farm. What are you up to, mister? Huh? Oh, you're crazy. Crazy cat. Guys, it's raining out again. This is terrible. <sighs> we just can't catch a break. Well, it was just enough to get everything wet. Well, at least we're in the tree canopy, so we're not getting too wet in here. Once we have that other load of firewood here, we'll have enough wood to heat the house for two winters. That's just a good feeling knowing that. You got enough wood or fuel, whatever you want to call it, to heat your house for two years. We always try to keep an extra year in front of us. That way, if times get tough, you don't get the money one winter, you have the extra wood already, and that way you know it's good and seasoned also. The reason we stack our wood like this is where we live we get a lot of snow, ice, and rain in the winter time. I'm going to get stuck on the wood pile. All we got to do is take a broom over to it and sweep it off, and it comes off easy peasy. Feels nice having that wood pile gone. There'll be another one replacing it in a few days. But I was just thinking, guys. Yeah, I put that pallet here just last weekend. So they haven't been laying eggs there very long. See if we can find these pigs and give them some eggs. I hear them. What are you doing? Want some eggs? You got a dozen and a half of eggs to eat. A messy eater, there, girls. You like organic pasture raised eggs, too? Trying to get me all slobbered. Man, really? You got all the eggs and you gotta eat the bucket handle? You girls are crazy.
doing? Huh? You been clearing some brush? I hope so. This is where we're going to end today's video. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us as we create our farm life. And we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow. Bye.